The oddly successful Sharknado franchise is set to air its third gore-tastic installment with a star-studded Hollywood cast. The first movie saw a twister full of man-hungry sharks decimate Los Angeles. The second took a meaty bite out of New York City. And the third, airing tonight on the Sci-Fi Channel, chomps on the entire eastern seaboard. <laughs> so why is something so cringeworthy so successful? Sharknado is becoming not only a summer tradition, it is a social media sensation. Dr. Jonathan Gray is a professor of media and cultural studies at UW-Madison. Welcome back to Live at Five. Good, Good to see you. Thanks for having me. Love the title of this one, too. It's Sharknado 3. Oh, hell no. <laughs> so th <laughs> this movie is sort of redefining something is so bad it's good, right? Yeah, I mean, the sci-fi have, have developed this wonderful niche of just doing sort of things that are awful and that people love. But why do you think that is? Why do you think it's such a sensation? I, I think there's something, I mean, it, 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 it's critic proof, right? It, and, and I think that's part of what's going on is it, it makes fun of movie culture. It makes fun of critic culture. There's nothing that a critic can say to hurt it. There's, it makes fun of, of the kind of hype that surrounds so many movies. Um, it's, it's a sort of, it, it's a hype around something that's totally unworthy. <laughs> and, and, and this, I mean, Twitter is really responsible for this. It's one of the first things that really took off on Twitter. What, what, what nerve did it touch? Well, again, I, th I think that's part of what's going on here is, you know, as opposed to the, I think there are a lot of people who resent critic culture. They resent the idea that, like, one person writing for the New York Times can kill an entire movie. And so th this is, the, you know, let the people speak. And one way of sort of, you know, announcing we're here is to take something like Sharknado and say, we can make this a success. <laughs> yeah. Do you think part of it, too, is just that life is so difficult right now for so many people and there's so many serious things going on that you can just sort of put your brain on pause for a while and, you know, laugh and totally. I take mean, it I, lightly. I mean, it, 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 indeed, if you think about all the things that, it, like, it plays with, like, climate change and so <laughs> forth, but in the silliest way possible. So it reminds you of some of the things we could be concerned about, but um, sort of joyfully romps through them and, and throws them in the wind, mm -hmm. so to Th speak. Does this affect movies that try to be serious over topics like this, Jurassic Park? Yeah, I mean, I, I, when I watched Jurassic World, I, I ended up, my critique was, like, it, it had way too big a budget. Sci-fi would have done this better. <laughs> when you put the two of them next to each other, you can't help but think that Sharknado is probably better. Well, what do you think it says about us as a culture, that this is becoming such a phenomenon? Uh, well, I mean, I, 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 it shows our capacity for play and irony. I, I think there is something satirical in there, too, as I said. I think one of the things that, one of the reasons people get behind this is because, you know, we all have criticisms of, of Hollywood culture and of the kind of movies that get made and of the kind of things that they'll they'll put out there. And, and making something like this just sort of announces where, where Hollywood's at and allows us to sort of agree, yeah, maybe something's wrong there. Hopefully it'll be as good as one and two, but it doesn't have to be. I mean, the critics are saying it's not good, but the critic, you know, <laughs> the, what do we expect, right? Yeah, Absolutely. Right. Well, we'll be watching tonight. It should be a lot of fun. Yep. Jonathan, I'll be Jonathan there. great to Thanks see you. Thank you so much. And the world premiere of Sharknado 3, 8 o'clock tonight on the Sci-Fi Channel.